What is up guys, Nick here, and, oh, sorry, hang on, yeah, um, there we go, um, anyway, my name is Nick, and I am playing the Phoenix Craft 2 mod pack, um, basically it's like a Skyland survival, um, the reason I am playing this is because, well, the, I used to play on this vanilla server, and, is that a dungeon? It is. Um, and there's just rocket squids. What? <laughs> um, anyway, I used to play on the server, and they had a plug-in that enabled Skylands, and it was, like, the absolute coolest thing ever. Like, I loved it. Just the fact of, ah, like that, yeah. <laughs> um, and, so, I've always been looking for it, and I've heard, like, if you go, like, super way out deep, not deep, but like 10,000 blocks or so, like super far out into the real world, then you'll hit somewhere where the the terrain generation breaks, um, and it makes a skyland of its own, and, but I, I didn't want to have to do that, because, oh god, um, <laughs> because, it, y yeah, I don't think my machine can handle that. Um, but, so, I was browsing Reddit the other day. Good old Reddit. Um, and I discovered that there was a mod pack called Phoenix Craft. And I was like, hmm, that's neat. And so I was like, well, let me look it up. And so I did. And it turns out they have a Skylands world generation setting. And I was like, awesome. So now I can play in my Skylands. I still get all the, the comfort, the creature comforts of modded survival. Just, it, it's a good day. It's a good day. Um, and I figured I might as well take a video for it. So this is Nick Plays Skyland modded survival something. I don't know. I'll figure a name. Um, this video will be a little short. Um, I've got stuff to do and this is just kind of a little, hey, this is what I'm doing video before I actually get out there and start making my own, like, the real gameplay videos. Um, I'm not going to do very much mining on camera because I, that, that's boring. Um, the only reason I'm doing it now is just because I'm I'm talking to you guys, like, if I'm, if I'm going to, and I know you probably can't see, because YouTube sucks, um, like, if I'm going to be doing, like, informational videos, then, um, it'll just probably be me mining, or me talking while I'm doing a, um, like a sped up version, like a time lapse of me actually doing something in game that would take a little while or like going on adventuring or running around or something it'll probably just me be me talking to you guys while I'm doing whatever it is in the time lapse video um let's see I can pull up a mod list if you want but I will probably link it in the description like link the forum posts for this pack um yeah um, should make an axe first so that way I can get wood faster, and then I can pick axe. But yeah, um, I've never watched any of this. I think there's somebody on YouTube who's done like like I Jevin or something, and then. I know this place has their own YouTube page, like the dev make the dev maker, the creator has his own YouTube page, and that'll be in the forum post that I link. Um, and I'm gonna live in this game. I think it's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, pretty things up a little bit. Um, other than the fact that this video will be short. Um, this video is the one exception. 
excuse me, I plan to make my videos about 20 minutes long, um, but I normally run over from past experiences and other videos, um, like I plan, I plan to make this one either, like this series, either between, um, 15 minutes, which is probably what this one will end up being, and half an hour long, um, you, you guys just kind of tell me what you want, I can, it doesn't bother me, um, the only thing is sometimes I'll have to put out a video just to put out a video, um, so they'll be shorter than like 15 or minutes or so, they'll probably just be like a little fly around me getting some time in between studying for exams and um, Christmas and or whatever your religion's winter holiday is, that, that time's coming up. Um, New Year's, going out of town with uh, my mom and my girlfriend and my baby, my baby sister, um, going to visit some family in another state, so, um, I'll try to do a bunch of little videos ahead of time, like, probably tomorrow, um, I'll sit down and record probably five hours worth of gameplay, break it up into... 20 minute videos and um, release those one day. Um, what else? Um, this mod pack has harvest crab. I don't know what mod adds the little meat pop things like down here in the saturation bar, um, but I like it. Um, I think that's hunger overhaul, but then again, it also doesn't says you have eaten this this many recently times, and it's getting dark. Okay. Um, don't want things spawning in my house. Oh, yep. Nope. Nope. That's bad. Nope. Don't. Don't do that. Um. Yeah. Then you don't. You don't want to do that. And, okay, so nothing in here. Um, just try to make it so nothing can path fine towards me. Yeah, that's not going to be good enough, but okay. Um, so, um, basically... I've got two goals in this series. Uh, one is to reach in-game, obviously, um, with several of the different mods we have. I mean, I can kind of scroll through this right quick. Um, reach a nice in-game. Plenty of plenty of mods. Um, I really want to try out Flaxbeard's Steam Power, because I've never done that before, and it looks pretty neat from what I've seen of it. Um, I, I, I don't know what that is either. Okay. Um, also, for um, later automation and whatnot, I don't necessarily want to use Ender Chest for like getting lava from the Nether. Like to start with, yes, because it's technically cheaper than Railcraft, but. Oh my. I think there's a cave near here. Um, but, like, I don't want to rely solely on that because I want to try to spice things up. Go back to the good old days of having to be creative with Railcraft <laughs> and uh, some either nether portals or mechanism portals. Um, probably mechanism portals because those are less finicky. Um, yeah, well, we don't have Miscraft, so this is as good as I'm going to get as far as, like, a 
quote unquote void base goes like everybody normally goes for. Um, hmm. What else is there to do while whilst waiting for the day to come? Um, I'm not gonna replant these saplings. I could adventure out. <laughs> I'm telling you, those squids are freaking me out now. I really want to go over there to that dungeon. Uh, I need to find some sheep and some cows. Make a hang glider. Um, and a bed. <laughs> Can't really make a bed unless I have a sheep. Or I'll probably need multiple sheep. But can I get you? Yeah, I'll mine you up. Two. Okay. One more. Okay, that's lava. I thought it, I thought it was like a monster spawner fire thing. I was about to be a little worried. Um, but the second goal of this playthrough is I would like to get all of the achievements. Like, when I say all of the achievements, I meant vanilla Minecraft achievements. And I may open this up to a server so me and my friend can play so I can get the the throwing diamonds at somebody achievement. Um, yeah, all, all of the, all the achievements. Even cake and pig off a cliff and, uh, I don't know what that one is. Uh, ooh, we've got Twilight Forest, this is going to be interesting. Um, I may not necessarily do all of it on camera, but I certainly will show you the achievements. Um, build craft. Yeah. Tinker's construct. Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, so. We don't have like any hardcore ender expansion or whatnot, so um but those achievements seem doable. Probably. Um Yeah. Um, nope. That needs to be one higher. Um, so I'm going to probably just keep fiddling around on this, um, cleaning out this area, making sure I'm not missing any ores or anything, wait for daylight, try to find some animals, but just basic beginner stuff, um, first base type of stuff, and then I will come back with another video. Um, so thank you for watching. I don't really want to say episode one because I haven't really done an episode yet, but um, I'm going to go with episode zero, like a little introduction episode. Um, yeah, so thank, thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, so I'll I'll see you next time in episode one. Bye.